Hey YouTube, do you recognize this sound? That's a sound commonly used in science fiction movies to make laser guns. But what it really is, is dispersion. The separation of a wave into its component frequencies organized by their wavelength. In the case of this spring, when I strike it, an impulse is made. In order to make an impulse, you actually have to sum up a number of different frequencies. An ideal, uh, perfectly short impulse would actually be the sum of all frequencies greater than zero. But this isn't the only place that you'll see this kind of dispersion. You'll also see it in uh, long, tight wires, such as uh, high voltage power lines on those big pylons. Uh, you'll also hear it in large sheets of ice on a lake. When those sheets crack, you'll hear that uh, very characteristic twanging noise. But dispersion doesn't only happen with uh, sound waves. It can also happen in light waves, such as with this prism. You can see all the different colors coming out of this prism as the light is dispersed by its wavelength. Now I've described dispersion as the separation of a single wave into its component frequencies, but what does that actually look like? I'm going to set up my high-speed camera and send a small impulse down this spring. As the impulse moves, you'll be able to see it separate into all its component frequencies, starting with the smallest uh, wavelengths, which will travel faster, and ending with the longest wavelengths, which will travel slower down the spring. If you pay attention to the near end of the spring, you'll notice some high frequency vibrations whose wavelength slowly increases until the final pulse makes it all the way to the end. Those high frequency vibrations are reflected first and lead the large pulse on its way back and forth up and down the spring. This will continue over and over until all of the energy is dissipated. The spring appears to move more and more randomly because the high frequency vibrations separate more and more from the low frequency ones as time passes. Eventually all of the vibrations in each frequency has separated so far that the spring appears to just jitter. After reviewing this footage I realized that I've actually seen this before several times and put these videos on YouTube. If you drop a water balloon onto the ground, there's a large pulse as it hits the ground that is preceded by some very small high frequency ripples. This is dispersion of that pulse, the impact of the balloon hitting the ground, uh, propagating around the balloon. Watching this clip very closely, you can see the high frequency component reaching the close end of the spring, even before the large pulse has made it halfway there. That's how much the dispersion actually affects this single pulse, separating it into all its component frequencies and sending the higher frequency ones faster down the length of the spring and the lower frequency ones slower down the spring. I hope you found this video interesting. If you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.